latest Farmer and House game. I don't you know if you remember my best buddy Reed here, but he was with me when we did the pig races. So hello Reed. Hi. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> this is my best guy. So well, he and usually they came down to our house just to have some pig race, some fun. But now we came to their cattle ranch. Woohoo! So, hope you guys like our video. Go for it. Alright. <laughs> 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 Here, Reed. Like, just do like that stare like Angus is doing really well. Why do you need to let Angus work? Here. Let him wear the chicken. Oh, he. <laughs> I can carry a bucket. I don't think there's a bucket for you, Ben. Watch the boys take the cows. See, Finn, this is the system you need. You feed them, then you let them in. That's your. That's a smart system. That's what you need for your pigs. Yeah, Angus, you want a bucket? Well, we could do that with a pig. That's what I was thinking. I, I bet he we'll see if he's strong enough. Come on, Angus, you strong enough? I'll, I'll get it. Oh, Finn uh, wants one. Sure? <laughs> that one doesn't have a very good handle on it. You are. <laughs> now she's going to have to keep up with the boys, you know that? So we need one. They once a day or twice a day? Once a day. Look at that. new friend. Do you love him? Yes, he's a good dog. He likes a oh. <laughs> One of them is Keely. Is that one pregnant right there? Uh, it's yeah. so round. Yeah. Oh, it looks huge. Yeah, well, yeah, you might want to shut the gate. Actually, I'll back up. Oh, okay. boy. I'm used to just driving in and not shutting the gate. But and they don't close. leave? They don't escape? Well, hey, Reed, let them in first. Let them in first. Well, they don't if they're just wandering around, but if they're up by the gate, we uh, we shut it. Yeah. Uh, I gotta if film you want to pet this. it, you know, oh, no. oh. This one was born yesterday. Oh, he saw it. He's there. He's tiny. Yeah, this He's calf was born. Yeah. Uh oh. She's she not real happy. Uh, Koi, can you hold this calf? I don't want that covered. She's con I've got her confused. Is he the mother of the <laughs> You gotta tag right, her, what do you do? You got us back to the That's a little calf. Why don't you That's a nice little calf. When was he born? Now this one here is a registered full blood cemetery. I mean there's absolutely nothing else. It's a straight straight bloodline. That's so cool, it's so cute. Oh, yeah, he's actually he's actually a big old boy. Oh man, he saw. Yesterday. Oh. His uh, tolls have a, they just have a real pretty look to them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that the mom? There. Where's yeah. Eleanor? She's right behind us. Right yeah, she's oh, got the right one. Uh oh. 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 Uh oh.
Which is the mom? Oh, is the black one the mom? Which is the mom? Oh, way over there. She knows it. Yeah, she knows Oh, is she looking for her baby? Yeah, she's lost. When you pick them up like that, it confuses. Throws them off. That one's wanting to play. Mom's pretty nice, or would they get aggressive if you, know, you got their if, calf? If you have their calf, then they're gonna. A good mother will fight you. Yeah. A good mother wants everybody to stay away from them. Yeah. But you keep the calf between you and them. This is Eleanor. She's pretty sweet. Come here, Eleanor. Can I pet you? Oh. She's sweet. Come here. She was bit by a rattlesnake when she was young, before they got her. So she lost her first baby, but now she's had a couple. She's one of their sweet ones. Hello, pretty girl. Can we pet you again? Yeah, kind of indention right below your head. Where is it? That's where that rattlesnake got her. Huh. tractor new in 1944. Aww. I was turning her came to town on a, on a on a train on a flatbed car. Yes, get back. Wow. And it's 80 years old. Wow. That's cool. Hard for you to even realize what 80 years is. <laughs> <laughs> you like we it? Got, actually, it hadn't been running and we got it running. It's running? That, that's this is, Koya's senior pictures. We oh, got it running right. and waxed it so he could have. Koya's great great granddad bought that new. Wow. Right. Hope to get it restored. Here we go, the last phase of our journey. We left yesterday afternoon, stopped at the Stevens farm, and got to meet all the cows. Mm -hmm. Spent the night in a hotel in Kansas City last night, and started off the day perfectly with Chick fil A. And now we're off to get the puppy. It's just a short 20 minute drive. Thankfully, we didn't have to drive all the way to Washington, Kansas. That would have been two more hours. But what happened is February 9th, th these puppies had to be picked up from this litter. Um, and that's when Angus was in California. And he really, really, really wanted to be on this journey. So um, they found a really neat lady who volunteered to pick up the puppy for us, babysit it for five days, and now we're going to her house to pick it up. So come along with us. Brumby will be in the car soon. Alrighty. Oh, oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. Oh. oh my goodness. Hi, Brumby. You're so cute, Droopy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those things come yeah. out all the yeah. time. Look at him. Hi, puppy. Could you hang on? Please let him play on. <laughs> hey, Brumby. You sure are cute. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh man. man. You're cute. Oh, you're so cute, bro. Oh. And Quince was so good with he him. He really, he figured it out. Yeah. He was a little rough. <laughs> Get a leaf or a piece of straw, and Quince was all about it, so we run from it. 
Okay, so we got a towel. I'll get you a blanket. Okay. Alright, you you got more towels in case he throws up or anything. There's a blanket here you can throw over. And a puppy. Or a dog bear. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you got a long road trip ahead. I hope you're ready. Okay, you got it? You want to get it? That's so cute. Yeah. Oh, you haven't done your Australia voice to him yet. Oh. Hello, Brumby! <laughs> Get your seatbelt on. Yeah, you got a long trip ahead, buddy. Huh? Hope you're ready for the, those cups and stuff. There you go. It's okay for now. If, if he starts messing with them, just tell me and we'll we'll move everything. Oh, you want that? Yeah, he can play with that. He can hey. chew it up or whatever he wants. Okay. Ready? Yep. So like, we only left five minutes ago, but he's already asleep. Good puppy so far. Yeah, he's pretty good. See exactly what Reed did. All snuggled up. He's pretty cute. You like him, Droopy? Brumby meeting the goats. Brumby, go see the goats. What do you think? <laughs> the goat doesn't know what to do. <laughs> the goats are afraid of Brumby. They'll attack Naira, but yet they're afraid of Brumby. Teddy isn't sure what to think. He was barking at us a few minutes ago. He thinks he's bigger than he is. Finn's out doing a walk, taking some chores for Droop. Hey, Brumby, no hawks. I don't think Brumby likes moose too much. Okay, Brumby. They're coming in. They know it's dinner time. Here comes Fern. She gets to eat in the garage now. And we got Brumby helping with chores. This will be an adventure. <laughs> Typically nobody wants to play with the puppy. <laughs> Especially pregnant mama dog. Nope. All right, maybe I should let Fern in to eat and then I'll follow you out. Okay? Me? I'll follow you in a second. I'm gonna let Fern in to eat. Okay. I'll go feed the Fern. Bird. So kids are at a music event tonight. The temperature has dropped a lot. So Finn and I are out doing the night chores together. We brought Brumby along to try to wear him out. Where is he? Brumby, hey. There he is. He's doing really well. Finn kind of was the Brumby babysitter today while Angus went to a square dance workshop. Yeah. Yeah. The story of Brumby's life. People put up with him. Dogs put up with him, goats put up with him, but they don't really like him. 
<laughs> He's just so jumpy and happy and Naira's going, I'm the grandma, leave me alone. Naira, do you like him? Are you practicing your patience? Good girl, your sweet girl, put up with him. Yes, you are. He's kind of full of energy. Let's wear him out and do some chores. You can't nurse anymore, Brumby, sorry. Those days are over. Okay, where's Finn? Let's go get this done. Finn, I'm ready to help. Oh, see, the goats are really afraid of him, which is funny. Get him, Brumby, get him. You show him who's in charge. Isn't that funny how they're afraid of Brumby? Yeah, but then she thinks she's bigger than... Oh, don't come running to me, goat. <laughs> she thinks she's bigger than Naira, but she's scared of Brumby. I know. Tougher than Naira, but afraid of the little black dog. Okay. Okay, we got the goats occupied with their food. Trying to get the chickens in while the goats are still occupied. Me and my faithful helper, Mr. Bouncy Brumby. Well, for some reason, all the new Bugalasesos don't like to go into this coop. I don't know if it's because they're not from this original flock or not. But you can see they're all lingering. And the new buff ones. This is the this year's chicken. So Finn got some more feed. She's going to try to collect them and get them to go into the small coop. Let's see if this works. Come on, chickens. Oh, now you want to go in. They just don't seem very excited. Hmm. Hey, they're bigger than you. You need to relax. Earn some, learn some goat respect. Yeah, and Because they're bigger respect. and they have horns and they have big hard heads. But they're still very, very scared of him. Yeah, but not for long, I don't think. No, I don't. Okay, well, we're kind of stumped. We can't get the Bugalacesos in. So we're going to go feed pigs. And Dorcas has failed us. I know. Let's go feed pigs at least. All right. Okay, so our plan kind of worked. I came up to the top of the garden, threw in the scraps, and Finn is down there sprinting from pan to pan, trying to get the pig food dumped before these guys catch on. Hurry, Finn, hurry! <laughs> we did it. Mission accomplished. She didn't get attacked. She's not covered with mud. Maybe that's what the good job, babe. Maybe that's what the chickens have been waiting for all along is to go get in on the pigs' dinner. Hey, hey, pigs! Hey, pigs! Oh, Brumby! What do you think of the pigs, Brumby? Oh, what do you think? <laughs> Every animal out here is a lot bigger than you. You're going to have to humble yourself a little, Brumby. I'll come do eggs with you. I want to see, see how long it takes these pigs to figure out that their food is already dumped. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he realized the chickens are stealing it. <laughs> oh, and we have another thing to tell. What? People. What? So... We were counting eggs yesterday. Oh, yeah. And I asked Max and he said he was collecting eggs every day. And last night we got 15 eggs. That's a record. Haven't had 15 eggs in a long, long, Very long time. Very long time. And then usually there's only one up there in the shop, behind the shop. To, the, today there were six. Really? Yeah, I counted when I was feeding Did you already eggs. collect? No, not yet. I okay. just count. I usually go up and count. Well, good. Let's go collect. All right. You want to count, we'll be... Hello. Thank you for watching our video. We had a great time at the Stevens house looking at the cows and picking up him. That was probably the highlight of my day. I just love it when they came running up to me and I said, oh joy, I love this puppy. So thank you for watching with us guys. He's a little scrawny. Um, I have a joke for you. So, wait, I forgot. Uh, let me think of my joke. Oh, uh, what does a kangaroo, what's a kangaroo's favorite kind of music? Hope you say what, because I didn't hear you. Hip hop! Thanks for watching our video!